Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello everybody, how are you today? Today we will complete mega goal 5, unit 1, 2 is better than 1. Listen, 11, form, meaning and function. Today we will use simple present tense. We will differentiate between simple present and present progressive. We also point out what is connected with museums and calories. At the end, we will express enthusiasms with intensifier and adjectives. Let's start with simple present tense. We use simple present tense for facts and, and things that are true in general. This is the first use of the simple present tense for facts or real or true in general. For example, for animals in the wild each day is a struggle to survive. Here we use a simple present tense for verb to be because it's a true. The second use of the simple present tense is to talk about the future timetable or schedule. For example, my flight from Dubai to Bahrain leaves at 8.10 tomorrow. I then fly to Saudi Arabia and arrive in Riyadh at 11 o'clock. Note that the verb here, we add S to the PS4. Why? Because this is the form of simple present. We add S to the PS4 if the subject is singular. But here we use infinitive form without any addition. Why? Because the subject is I, they, or we, or plural. Let's write these notes, please. The form of simple present is the verb in the past form or infinitive, or the verb plus S. Okay? We use verb in infinitive form, if the subject is plural, I, they, you, or we. We use verb plus S. If the subject is singular, he, she, or it. Is it clear now? Okay, write the notes, please. What about the third usage for the simple present tense? Use the simple, uh, present simple with exclamations with here and there. Can I have the check, please? Of course, sir. Here you are. Here we use the simple present tense for verb to have. Have. Dad, can I borrow your cell phone, please? I suppose so. So, here you are. Where are my glasses? Aha, uh -huh, there they are. Where is Natalia? Here she comes. What's the difference between simple present and present progressive? Simple present versus present progressive. Use the simple present tense to talk about habit and routine. We do something every day or every month, okay? It's a habit, okay? I get up early every day, it's my habit. And use the present progress or progressive or continuous for actions occurring now or for temporary situations. It's not a habit, it's a temporary, okay? Like Padre usually eats take out. But today he is cook, he is cooking dinner. Okay. But usually it's take out. Here we use simple present verb plus s. Why? Because it's a habit. But today, just today, it's not a habit. It's just today he is cooking dinner. So we use present progressive verb to be plus ing excellent we will write the form of present progressive verb to be 
plus ing. Please write the notes. Present the progressive form is verb to be am is are plus ing. Okay, do you get it? We also use the present progressive for changing or developing situations. Like what? More and more students are sharing apartments to save money while they study. Here we use present progressive because it's a changing situation. And we use are because the subject is plural students. We also use the present progressive with always, continually, and constantly to describe an, on, uh, an ongoing annoying situation or habit. For example, he is always asking his brother to lend him money. We should take care of some verbs which are not often used in the progressive form. What are they? Please underline them. Believe, think, know, remember, like, hate, want, prefer, see, hear, feel, see, appear, have, belong, and own. These verbs can't be followed with present progressive. Can't be followed with ing. Okay? It can't be followed by ing. It's used in simple present tense. Okay, you write the notes. Now, we will discuss exercise number A. Read the telephone conversation between Badr and his brother, Fahd. Complete the conversation with the correct form. With the correct form of the words in the parentheses, use the simple present or present progressive. Okay, what do you think this conversation about? Excellent. It's about Fahd and his flatmate about the chairs. They live in a mess, chores like cleaning, washing. Okay, let's start this conversation. Fahd, hi Padr, how are, how are things in New York? To tell you the truth, Fahd, not so good. It's my flatmate, Adnan. I was really excited about us sharing a flat, but he not do any chores not do any chores this is a habit so we use simple present tense what about what about the subject is singular excellent so we use doesn't plus infinitive doesn't do doesn't do excellent on bathroom spotless because i clean it but the other one is very dirty okay verb to be in the present simple tense is am is or are excellent and the subject here is singular bathrooms so we use is and i clean it but the other one is very dirty okay it's a habit for me to clean uh, the bathroom so i clean or cleans excellent i clean because the subject is i very good we use the infinitive form of the verb the rest of the apartment is very untidy he always always okay excellent we will use present progressive verb to be plus ing he is leaving excellent don't forget to omit to omit e he is always leaving his his dirty dishes around the flat i constantly constantly excellent also present progressive i plus am excellent and we add ing to the verb to be cleaning up we agreed to take it 
in turns to do the laundry, but he is always busy. I do the laundry every week, every week. It's a habit, so I use do, excellent. Also about the cooking. Now, we will point out some more disconnected with museums and calories. Some words we commonly associate with different types of museums and calories. Okay. It's, a, it's a divided into three categories, like archaeological, technological, and national. Okay. For archaeological, there are history, culture, antiques, pottery, jewelry, exceptions, and drawings. These words co concerning with archaeological museums. What about technological space, reports, science, seminars, 3D digital cinema showing, scientific documentaries, and educational books. And the world is concerning with national are also antiques, manuscript, documents, state of the art, informative exceptions, and interactive displays. Now, we will expressing NCUZMs with intensifier and adjectives. We use the intensifier really we will underline these words, please. We use the intensifier very, very, absolutely, and quite with adjective. Why? To express our enthusiasm with something. There are two kinds of adjectives. What are they? Gritable and non gritable What's the difference between two kinds of these adjectives? Let's, no, let's know now. Gritable adjectives can be measured. Gritable adjectives can be measured in degrees such as size, age, quality. But non gritable adjectives can't be measured. Can't be measured like this. Okay? We use certain intensifier with each group of adjectives. Gritable adjectives and un and the non gritable adjective. For example, expensive and priceless and priceless have the same meaning, but priceless is stronger than expensive. And also, old and ancient has the same meaning, but ancient is stronger than old. So, we use very, really, extremely with gritable adjectives like expensive, old, beautiful, important, good, we can say very good, really interesting or extremely frightening or very small or really big, okay? But we can't use this intensifier with non-gritable adjective. Why? Because they are strong adjectives like priceless, ancient, stunning, Crucial, amazing, fascinating, terrifying, tiny, massive, okay? They have the same meaning, but they are stronger adjective. But take care of the intensifier really. Really can be used with both gritable and non-gritable adjectives, okay?